Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. If you are interested in speaker design and improving sound quality, subscribe and join us. Acoustical Labyrinth, Transmission Line Speakers, or Folded Horn Speakers, whatever you call them, they are gorgeous. The first idea belonged to a company named Stromberg Carlson in the 30s, which was the inventor of these telephones. This type of speaker was termed an acoustical labyrinth by them. A folded horn speaker creates a time delay and makes the back radiation in phase with the front of the cone. The cone displacement will be reduced, which will cause a lower sound distortion. The interesting point will be a higher sound level with lower energy consumed by the driver, so why not make one? In order for the front and back of the speaker to be in phase in low frequencies, it is necessary that the optimal length of the horn or the transmission line is a quarter of the wavelength of its cutoff frequency. Why do I call it horn? Just focus on its path. As can be seen, it expands along its body with a particular expansion rate. If you remember it, we said the horns have an important spec named flaring rate. What is the difference between slow flaring rate and fast? Slower flare horns provide a better loading of a driver, which means they can take the lower frequencies out of the speaker. These are the side views of the known horns. As can be seen, the exponentials have the slowest flaring rate, but if we modify it to become slower, the chance to reach the low frequencies will be higher. Look at this formula. For t equals 1, the resulting horn will be an exponential, and for t less than 1, it will be a bollock with slower flaring rate. Therefore, the lower the t, the slower the flaring rate. In this figure, the effect of various values of t and its effect on extending the frequency response is illustrated. It seems the optimum value is around 0.7 to get a smooth extended response without peaks. Now, let's dive into making an Excel file to get the side view of bollock horns. First, you need to type these words on the first row, respectively. Then select all of them and define a 500-row table just by a few clicks. Mark this for the software to choose the first row as the headers. This command means the area including the first row of column A and the 500th row of column I, which produce a 500-row table. Now you can select your desired style from this list. Move the mouse pointer to this area and click to select all the cells. Then select middle align to set the texts at the center of all the cells. After that, hold the control button and double click to adjust the cell size for all the texts. We need a list including the numbers between 1 and 500. Just enter 1 and drag it. When the mouse pointer is changed to a plus shape, Drag it to reach 500, then select Fill Series to create a series of numbers between 1 and 500. To create a displacement along the horn body, type this simple formula. The result is 0.01 meter displacements. All the formulas in Excel start with equal sign. Type a desired cutoff frequency and a desired driver radius. As we said, the optimum length of the transmission line is one-fourth of the wavelength at the cutoff frequency. With one click on undo button, the addition values will be removed. We've already shown the effect of various values of T. We define it 0.5 for now. In this horn, the flaring factor is given as And the growth of the cross-section area is defined by this relationship. ST is the throat area, M is the flaring factor, X is the distance from the throat, and T is the parameter that determines the shape of the horn, or is the second flaring factor. It is clear that the radius of a circle is obtained by taking the square root of its area divided by pi. Now, it's time to get the side view by a graph. First, 
we need the x and y values to import them into a graph. x is the displacement and y is the horn radius in every step. One way to select all the values in a column is to click on that when the mouse pointer becomes like a downward arrow. However, the software calculation will be slower because of processing a long array. It's better to select the values limited to the table. After selecting the values, the key to getting the side view of the horn is to select this type of chart. Choose a name for your graph. In the next video, we'll learn how to implement this horn growing on a low-frequency folded horn.